there are a couple different ways to go uh, in building a battery for your Zenith Transoceanic. If you happen to have an original box such as this one, you can gut it and restuff it with uh, new battery holders and batteries to uh, make up your 90 volt uh, B supply and your 9 volt A supply. And you can sometimes use an original connector that actually uh, came out of this box. Uh, the problem is that often these are badly corroded and the pins will break off so even if you have an original connector you may not be able to use it. In part one of the uh, videos that uh, you're going to see we deal with making a replacement connector or a reproduction connector that you can mount in a, uh, a battery box either an original or a copy and uh, then proceed with building a battery that will run your Zenith Transoceanic or any other vintage radio that uses uh, a compatible battery such as the uh, uh, RCA Strata World or the uh, Halicrafters uh, TW series. We'll make two connectors at one time by cutting a 1 and 5 eighths inch piece of PCV pipe that has a 1 inch internal diameter. Next we'll smooth each end of the piece of stock pipe we just cut. Next we chuck the PCV into a lathe and we'll mark off a three quarter inch section and cut it and that will be the first connector body. Now I'll use a needle file to clean up the uh, cut edge. Then I'll flip it over and clean up the other edge. I'll remove any remaining flash with a needle file and with an X-Acto knife. I've pre-cut discs of 3 16 inch styrene plastic for the end caps on the uh, connector bodies and I'll CA those to the body and then we'll set it aside and let it dry. Use the belt sander to begin shaping the end cap to the contour of the connector body. That's starting to look pretty good now. A little more shaping. And once again we'll use the lathe to complete the shaping of the end cap so that it's perfectly flush with the uh, connector body. I've made a few passes with a cutting blade and it's uh, pretty, pretty flush now, but I'll use this needle file and do a final smoothing. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next, 
we're going to glue this template to the top of the connector and this will allow us to precisely drill the holes that we need for the connector pins. Here I've installed the connector on an XY table uh, on the drill press and using the template I'll be able to very precisely drill the four holes in the top of the connector where I'll mount the connector pins. Okay, that takes care of our four holes. Next, I'll remove the template and clean off any adhesive left on the top. Next, I'll use a part from an original connector to make sure that my holes are exact. Yep, they look good. We'll use 5 8 inch steel rivets for our connector pins. We'll drive out the mandrels. And use the rivet portion for the pin. Also make sure we don't have any aluminum ones in there. rivets have a uh, coating and we'll use a grinder to remove that coating and rough up the head of the rivet so that the uh, solder flows on and, and adheres well. Now that our pins are done I've cut four leads for each of the connectors one red, one blue, and two black for each. Now we'll clean up our soldering gun. i use a wet cloth to get a nice shiny tip. And we'll put one of the pins in the uh, clip there. Put some flux on it. Then I'll bend the uh, stripped end of the uh, lead and feed it down into the hole so that it fits tight. And then clip the other end of the lead. And we'll use a pretty heavy duty soldering gun here to heat up that pin. Okay, it looks like we have a good solid connection. Now that I've finished soldering leads to each of the pins, I'm going to uh, now install them into the body of the connector. The leads are color coded to make sure that I get each pin into the right hole so that uh, there are no unpleasant surprises uh, later on when we use this connector to build a battery. Make sure they're flush. So the blue is B plus, red is A plus, A minus, and there's our B minus. We'll use this old uh, male connector from a radio to keep the uh, pins in alignment 
while we apply the uh, hot glue and let it dry. Okay, the glue gun's good and hot now, so we'll cover the rivet heads with, uh, with this hot glue. Make sure they're all completely covered. The uh, glue's good and dry now, so we'll clean up the drips. And then we'll get the uh, connectors ready for painting. We'll mask off the uh, leads and the uh, connector pins with uh, shrink tubing during the painting process. Each of the four pins will get a piece of uh, shrink tubing over it. I'll paint the body of the uh, connector silver. Uh, of course, I'll do it outside, not in the uh, workshop here. Okay, the paint's dry and our connector leads are stripped. We'll connect our uh, tester to the uh, leads of the male connector as well as the uh, female connector. Okay, everything checks out good. Connector fits well. So, we're done. And there's our connector ready. In part two, we'll uh, install the connector in this box and then proceed with building a working battery.